it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. So. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I I wanted to vlog today. Um, I don't know, just take you throughout my day here, I guess. But I woke up feeling shitty. <laughs> If that's the word. Um, since I don't have a vlog going up, obviously, I just wanted to talk because I still want to upload a video. So, to take you along or to talk you along, I don't know, <laughs> uh, throughout my day, um, I pretty much slept the entire day. I woke up to Adrian coming home at like 8.30 in the morning and we were just talking for like an hour or two and then I had breakfast and then I was like, it's too early. <laughs> so I went back to sleep. I went back to sleep for a few hours, literally like three or four hours. I can't remember how many hours. And when I woke up, I'm like, great <laughs> um, and then I was up for another few hours and then I fell back asleep and woke up for dinner and so Adrian went out to go get his dinner and he just pulled up right now but I just wanted to talk because I don't know I feel like being a military spouse and being in this military life is hard I feel so alone when I'm not which is sad to say because I have my husband here um, but I feel like this is our second dating station and I feel like it's never gonna get easier moving to another place um, I was super excited moving here but I feel I feel like being pregnant puts a whole nother toe in it, I feel like. Um, like obviously like I'm pregnant, I'm growing a child and not having my family around really, really sucks. Really bad. And then just like coming here and having nobody and having nothing really sucks as well um i feel like a lot of people don't talk about this because obviously it's hard on them to talk about but this is what we go through and this is what we want to do i don't want to say want to do but we knew what we were getting ourselves into, basically. Which is sad because nobody wants to move away from their family or friends. As you guys know, we were in Hawaii for two years, or I was in Hawaii for two years, and he was there for three years. So I feel like that duty station was a lot different because he was there for a year already, and he established like his friends in his group um and so when I got there like I was friends with his friends I met his friends wives um and that's how I met Brittany and Brittany was like one of the only wives that I connected to and was basically my best friend in Hawaii um and it's sad because you have to, like you try not to get attached because you know you're gonna move and you'll be moving soon. But in the end, that's all you have. Like when you're alone in somewhere, in a state or in a country, like that's 
all you have and it's hard not to get attached to someone and so going from hanging out with Brittany and Ben it like changes things I don't know if I'm making sense but basically what I'm trying to say is like it's hard and it's sad moving to another place not knowing anyone and being basically alone and lonely even when you're not I don't know if that makes sense but that's how I feel <laughs> and I don't know, it might be the case for everyone okay everyone's different but I didn't think I was gonna be like this like feel alone and so I'm just gonna blame this on pregnancy hormones because I have never cried so much in the last oh half eight weeks that I've known that I've been pregnant and I don't know it sucks it sucks a lot but I know things will be better eventually and things are gonna change um so Hopefully I get out of this phase. <laughs> if it's a phase, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I'm not making sense, but I feel like I am at the same time because I feel like a lot of people can relate because I feel like a lot of military spouses watch me. So that's what I want on my channel is for people to relate and to see like what you actually go through and it's not all sunshine and rainbows all the time. So, yeah. <laughs> to bring you along to the rest of my day, even though it's already 6 o'clock, 6.30, um, Adrian just got back with some pizza. So, I'm going to see if I can eat this pizza because, <laughs> um, actually I've been doing really good with not throwing up food, except the other day with waffles <laughs> um, and meat I've been eating more meat I'm hoping today will be better because I feel shitty and I feel very bad and don't feel good at all so I'm hoping this pizza will be good I and mean, I can eat it so we'll see what Adrian thinks about it he went to this place pizza a How was your pizza? <laughs> what pizza? <laughs> I waited for you. That's okay. Yeah. Sauce could have been better. Are you getting more? Mm -hmm. Pizza was not that great. I ate a slice though because I need to eat. <laughs> um, but I probably would not be going there again to be honest. Adrian starts on flight tomorrow. Starts like his actual job. Um, tomorrow night and so that means he got his schedule and he got like the worst booty schedule ever <laughs> Adrian's always been on like days um, so like early in the morning to like late afternoon and that's he's always been on that so this is gonna be different for us Adrian is on night shift, um, so basically he's going to be gone all night, and I don't think that's going to work out because, well, maybe now that I'm pregnant, I don't like he's sleeping with me, <laughs> but usually, like, back in Hawaii, I was like, oh, I gotta sleep with Adrian, like, I cannot fall asleep if he's not in bed, I'd wait for him until, like, he's in bed, like, I would not fall asleep until he's there, um, so I don't know how it's going to be this time, this time around, or right now, I'm like, ew, get out of my bed. I don't want, to, I don't want you near me. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, I don't know. That's just how I am right now. Um, but we'll see you tomorrow night. It's gonna be scary. In this big house all by myself. <laughs> His plan is to basically just stick through this, and then QC basically just pass some tests that he needs to take. Um, right, pass some tests. <laughs> 
Yeah. Just get certified here. Okay, get certified here. And then um, get a desk job in the back at Security Forces. Um, and then hopefully you can get like a Monday through Friday job and have the weekends off. But we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not excited. I need to get these nails done ASAP. I've had these nails on since Hawaii, which is so gross. Um, I did get them done when we were back home, but they didn't take them off. They just did a fill. Um, so I need to get my license so I can take myself to a nail salon because Adrian does not want to take me and wait for me. We get Wi-Fi tomorrow or hopefully Wednesday, so hopefully one of those days. Um, wow. I can't even upload this video without Wi-Fi. Uh -huh. <laughs> I just remembered that. Um, anyways, so hopefully we get that tomorrow, Wednesday, and we'll have Wi-Fi on this dang house already. Um, we still have about a week and a half to get our freaking stuff. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's a little update for you guys. Still sick, still sleepy. Same old, <laughs> right? <laughs> You're not as sick. I don't know, I just feel... Like, if I'm not sleeping, then I'm not okay. <laughs> like, that's when I... I to sleep. That's when I feel my best is when I'm sleeping <laughs> and, like, right when I wake up, I'm like... I'm good. Anyways, I think that's all for it for today's video. See ya. So we're gonna call it a night, to be honest, probably, because I'm already tired. Um, so I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.